This is step by step how I make an income off of just Instagram alone. So today I'm gonna to be showing you every single tip step by step on how I build up an Instagram following and then how I actually monetize that Instagram page to start making me a full time income from just Instagram alone. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is work out what niche we're gonna make our theme page around. And ideally, you want this to be something that you're knowledgeable about and something you actually have an interest in. Because if you don't have an interest and you're not knowledgeable about it, you're going to get bored of making it. You're going to burn out of posting on it. And if you don't know anything about it, you're going to struggle to make the posts anyway. So for me, this is always something that I actually have a knowledge about. And it's something that I'm interested in, whether it's football, whether it's sports, whether it's gaming, whether it's making money online, whatever it might be. So this is something that I have a lot of knowledge in. This is something that I'm interested in. Therefore, it makes it very easy for me to be able to create the content. But it also means I don't get bored of creating the content as well. And it doesn't really matter what niche you go into. I haven't found one that's more profitable than others. The only thing you kind of want to bear in mind is how big of an audience can you build with that said page. If you go for something like a very niche page, something like a Star Trek fan page, for example, there's only going to be a certain amount you can grow that page. Whereas if you went for something like a travel account, you're going to get a much bigger following and you've got a much bigger audience to hit with something like that. So that is the one thing you need to bear in mind when you are picking your niche. So now let's say that we have picked our niche. You guys know exactly what sort of theme page you're going to go with. I'm going to show you how you now want to start creating content for that and how you want to build it up. And for an example for this video, I'm going to be using a making money online, a motivational sort of theme page because this is an account that I've literally just started up a couple of days ago. So obviously the first thing you want to do is come up with a logo and a name for your account, whatever it might be. You could use something like ChatGTP to give you an example of a few names that you could use and pick one of those. Then for a logo, if you guys can't make logos yourself, you could go onto Canva and literally make one yourself. You've got plenty of templates there to go and pick from if you wanted to do it that way there's plenty of ai generating softwares out there now that could create you a logo or you could just go onto fiverr and get someone to make you for one on there so now we've got our branding we've got our logo we've got the name of our account we just need to come up with a decent bio for it okay guys so this is the account that i'm trying to grow in the last couple of days as you can see i had some posts on here before and i managed to get this to about 30 followers off of these posts it really didn't do too well at all and from here is when i started posting again and i started posting six days ago maybe five days ago um, and this is what i've come up with so far but the first thing we said we're going to talk about is the bio. And as you can see, I've got my name in there. And then I've got daily motivation. Your mindset is everything. Daily success stories and quotes. Click here to get rich. So people know as soon as they click on the page, they know exactly what the page is about. They know what they're expecting to see on the page and what they're going to find. So now we have our account fully set up. The first thing you want to do is go and create your first pieces of content. And realistically, if it's something you're interested in, something that you're knowledgeable about, you should have an idea of what sort of content you're trying to make. But if, for example, you don't and you're really struggling with it, what I recommend doing is just going to find some inspiration from other pages that you're trying to build the same sort of following as. And at the moment, you want to refrain from following any accounts. You don't want any followers. You don't want any following. And you don't want any posts to start off with. You want to go and create your first six to nine pieces of content. And the reason that I say to create six to nine posts before you even post any is because when someone sees one of your posts, if they see it on an explore page or in the reels page or whatever it might be, they're going to check your account out. And if they check your account out and it's already got posts there, they're much more likely to follow. Whereas if you make one post and post it straight away and someone clicks on your profile to see what else you've posted and there's nothing there, there's a good chance they'll just think it's an inactive account or they're not going to be interested in it I've got nothing else to look at. So I'll just leave the profile and go to the next piece of content. Whereas if you have six to nine pieces of content already posted, it gives them something else to look at. And if they like the second piece of content, the third piece, they're much more likely to follow you and then start engaging with the content that you've posted as well. So for the account that I'm showing you right now, obviously I didn't do this when I started posting again, but that's because I already had content posted on it from before when I was trying to grow it. So I just sort of knew, right, okay, there's already some content on there. I'm not too worried about getting my first six to nine. But if this was a completely fresh account, I would make six to nine pieces of content before I even post one and then post them all at the same time. So when it comes to these first six to nine pieces of content, the sort of content you want to be posting, in my opinion, the easiest way that I find to grow on Instagram at the minute is with real content. I just find that reels hit way more many people. It goes into its own algorithm. You haven't got to try and get on the explore page. It's going to get seen by a lot more people if you post reels. Whereas if you post like a normal photo or a couple of photos in the one, then I just don't find that it does that well. You can go ahead and do that. So there's a couple of accounts that I've done where I post like one picture or like the, the reel of pictures. I can't remember what it's called, but you post like the three or four pictures in one post and then I post a reel and then I'll do pictures then I'll do reels. So I'll alternate what I'm posting and I have grown accounts like that, but these have been accounts where I know I'm going to get on the explore page. I know the content that I'm trying to do because it's accounts that I've grown before. I already understand how to get on the explore page with that sort of content. Whereas if you're just starting out, it's probably going to be quite difficult for you to know exactly how to get on the explore page with those pieces of content. 
and it changes with every piece of content. So I can't sit here and say, if you're doing this, you want to be doing this to get onto the explore page. You are going to be having to work it out yourself because for travel content, for car content, for all the different niches, it works differently to get onto the explore page and get in front of that targeted audience. Whereas, like I said, if you're posting reels, there's a very good chance people are going to see your content, even if you're not on the explore page, because you'll just pop up in their reels. So now let's quickly take a look at why I like reels. If we come down to the reels, as you can see, I've got 680 followers. And if I come to my reels, I'm getting plenty of thousands of views 2.3k views 1.5k views 2.5k basically 3k 2k and 1.4k as you can see that one there done really well and a couple of these from before did do quite well but because i just didn't use the account for so long the following just dropped off and i ended up with like 40 to 50 followers on this account before i started growing it again and now i'm up to 680 off of these six reels right here which is really really good return it's not always going to be as good of a return as that don't get me wrong but there's a good chance if you're getting in front of that right audience if you're rules are being pushed to the right people there's a good chance you can't you can start building that up and I'll be honest, because this was a dead account, what I done was a little bit of follow for follow. I'm not going to lie. I went along onto my homepage, found some other pages like mine, went onto their recent posts, and whoever had liked their most recent post, I just followed up 40 to 50 people every single day just to start building this account up, getting some people back onto the account and getting some eyes on it just to regenerate it and get it back into the algorithm. And it's quite clearly worked. I'm getting a lot of followers from it. But the people following me aren't just because I'm following them and they're following me back. I'll throw up a screenshot right now of all my followers so you can see a lot of them are coming from liking my reel they've seen my reel they've followed me from that so reels are the best way to grow an account from the very start in my opinion and then once we get to a certain point where we got a good following you know people are engaged with our content our engagement's nice and high and we're getting a really good return on it then we can start posting normal posts like we can start posting photos or just normal videos whatever you want to post if it's not just real content that's when you can start posting whatever it is that you want to be posting alongside your reels but i highly recommend the entire time throughout growing an account and running an account you are posting reels because it's the easiest way to get people to view your account it's the easiest way to get in front of new people and the biggest chance to get new followers okay so now let's say we have got our following we've started to build our audience we're getting a good following we now want to start making money off of it and the first thing you can obviously do is doing pay for shout outs you know you can get people to pay you to give them a shout out you can reach out to brands and say this is the audience that i've got i think they'd really like your content or the product that you're making would you like to run an advertisement on my page for x amount of money if they say yes you can then work out the agreement with them they can pay you you can then work out what sort of post they want on your page to, be able to do it that way or like i said you can just get people to dm you and just give them shout outs on your story on your page and then they can pay you money that way so that's the first way of monetizing any instagram page but a second way and in my opinion the better way of making money on an instagram page and this is where i make most of my money on instagram and it's through affiliate marketing links so obviously you guys can work up you can make your own product your own online course ebook product whatever it might be to sell to your audience and if you could do that great because you're going to get most of the profit from this but the way that i do it i don't have to create any content i don't have to create any ebooks i don't have to create a course i don't have to create anything all i have to do is find a product that i think my audience will like and grab an affiliate link for it and this is a great website for doing that, guys. It is called Digistore24. I'll leave it linked in the description. And you guys can come along and find any sort of product that is related to your niche. Let's say, for example, we were doing a gardening page. For example, we could come down to home and garden. We can then find some different gardening products. Let's say, for example, you know, let's have a little scroll through, see what there is on here. Um, a urban gardening course, right? If someone wants to know how to garden and they want to do a course through it, I could then go ahead and chuck this affiliate link in my bio to be able to start making money from it. And as you can see, you get 45% commission from this. Earnings are around $13.04 every single time you sell one. So that's one option that you guys could do. Let's go and find a different one. For example, let's go into fitness and health because a lot of people run fitness pages and it's something that I have done before. So as you can see, you've then got a really great one right here. So as you can see, you've now got a custom keto diet course. So people could read these, you know, they could learn how keto dieting works. And every time you sell one of these, you're going to get 75% commission and your earnings are going to be around $27 or 22 cents. So you can just sort of scroll through, find any products that you think your audience will like and get them linked in your bio. You've got all kinds of different niches it doesn't matter what niche you're going into this store has probably got something that you could go ahead and sell get an affiliate link so all you have to do guys is once you find what you're trying to sell go on to the promote now you're going to get an affiliate link you can then grab that affiliate link and chuck it into your bio but as you can see if i was to get this one for example my link is super super long and i really don't want it to be that long at all but as you can see the link that i've got on the page that i'm growing right now is bit.ly mn mindset that is so short so simple looks clean and could get a lot of clicks 
And the way you do this is simply go to bit.ly, the website. All you can do on there is then chuck the link, the long link in, and then you can create a shorter version of it so it looks much cleaner. It looks a lot more professional and it's probably going to get a lot more clicks. So guys, this is another page that I run, a Warzone Memes Daily. Like I said, I understand the gaming niche and how that works. This is another one that I run. It's got 13.1k followers. I haven't posted on it in a while. But what I have been doing on there is pay paid promos. You know, people are messaging me on a daily basis, even though I don't really use the account that much anymore. I'm getting people message me saying, can I have a shout out on the story? Can I have a shout out for a post? Whatever it might be. So I'm doing shout outs. I'm getting like 10 to $15 per shout out, which is amazing for me not really doing much work anymore, just because I've got a decent following. I get a lot of gaming creators who are trying to build that audience up of a Warzone following. Message me, try and get on the page so they can start building their following that way. So like I said, shout outs really do work depending on what niche you're in. But yeah, they're just two of my accounts that I run. I run up to about 10 accounts at the moment, I think. So I've got a crazy amount of accounts going where I post two to three times every single day, which really isn't too difficult. Once you get into the swing of things, you start understanding how it works. You'll get the content pumped out pretty quickly. You'll start growing your audience. And then, like I said, you're going to start getting people to go to your affiliate links, start buying the products or asking you for shout outs. So that, guys, is the easiest way to grow on Instagram in 2023 and the easiest way to grow a theme page in 2023. But it's also the easiest way to monetize an Instagram page in 2023 and also just how you can make an incredible amount of money if you guys have enjoyed the video be sure to smash the thumbs up subscribe to the channel notification turn off if you have already let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below and i'll catch you in the next one in a bit Peace.